commandments. The first five are to do with God and man. We believe in God. We don't have any idols. The next five are to do with man and man. Don't kill. Don't commit adultery. So why is it that the fifth commandment deals with honoring one's parent? That comes over here in this part, which deals with between God and man. How is honoring our parents relating to God? King David said, when my mother and my father leave me, God gathers me. What did he mean? Have you ever taken care of an elderly parent? You fend for them, you feed them, you take them to the hospital in the winter, you walk up the stairs with them, you're there for them, you're waiting for their call. You are taking care of them, but in actual fact, you feel that they are taking care of you. An old man once said, the older I go, uh, I feel like a child. So what is it? There will come a time, and it might be in 20 years, it might be in 40 years, it might be in 60 years, but it's inevitable. There will come a time when the parents pass their baton. They've grown us, they've nurtured us to God Almighty. They leave the world and they pass it to God. What have we learned from our parents? We've learned to trust them. We've learned to believe in them. That trust, that belief that they fended for us, and that is why we are where we are now, we will place fully in God. Of course, this should be constant, it should be at the moment, but that is why honoring one's parents is placed in the first five commandments. Because just as we respect God and we believe in God, we can get there, we can get a better understanding via honoring our parents. Our parents are partners with God in our creation.